Hello everyone and welcome back in a new video. So today I'm here in my kitchen. I set up like two lights because there, that one, it's broken. So that's why I had to hang one on that. Um, and the other one is from here. And actually the light in my kitchen is really awful. So uh, here I am with like two lights pointing at me. It's a little weird, I know, but yeah, that's where the whole vlog will happen. So it's almost dinner time, so I need to hurry up a little bit. Actually, this one is disgusting. No, I'm here today because I wanted to show you a nice gift that you can make for these festive and holidays. It's really easy. Actually, it's not that easy but it's easier than other things and i think you can also have fun and it could also be something that you could do with somebody else for the holiday season so let's get started so today together we are going to make candles diy soy wax super organic or at least we're trying to be organic um present candles gift whatever we want to call it so we will do some candles together it's for everyone and it's also a good way to do a present a birthday present whatever you you want to use it you can do it because it's always nice to receive something like this we're trying to be more organic as we can i actually got some essential oil that i'm not sure they are 100 percent organic but you know, let's start because the process is long. I need to make dinner soon. And I think I'm wondering why I decided to do that now. Whatever, let's start. So what, <laughs> so what do you need in order to do candles? I'm also going to link everything down below as much as I can. It's always nice to have a candle. So the thing you need in order to make some beautiful candles are going to be soy wax, a thermometer, Pyrex glass, essential oils, candles container, you can choose the one you like. I wanted to do something really like standard for everybody that I'm going to give this as a present, but you can always, you know, upcycle. That's, that's upcycle, you know? So that was like a olive thing, hummus maybe. So you can always, get your old containers and you can reuse them to do candles and then um that's it i think we have everything why am i using soy wax because it's organic so it's not paraffin so it's not like a petroleum Petroil? Petrol? Petrol derivant? How do you say it? Anyway, it's not producing... It's not... Yeah, it's not producing something toxic. So, that's nice, no? So, imagine you taking a bath and then you have this toxic running around your ear. So, that's not nice. Maybe it's not 100% organic. Where we are close to, you know, we're close. Oh my god, this process is the most boring things to do. Why do you put like the stickiest price on a fucking glass? Like, I hate that. I hate that a lot. So this is what you want to do. So. You're gonna scoop it in like this. So that's actually one. And then you're gonna put two and a half of this in order to make one. You got it? <laughs> I fill this and then we're going to put it into the pot. So we are just gently put this in. Maybe I have to take out some water. <laughs> Man. Ah! Fuck! This is so unprofessional. Here you have Pyrex glass, 
I don't know how else you call it, but anyway, it's that into the water and then we now just have to wait until it's melted. Here we have the wax and it's slowly melting. The Pyrex glass, it is a little bit too small and it's making me a little bit angry. I will just switch off the water because I don't want my wax to boil. So I'm trying to learn how can I just add the essential oil only into the candle that I want it to smell like that. I think it's not, it's not so hard. Like maybe I can just pour the wax into the container and in the same time I will put like some, um, some drops into the, the candle. Because, you know, I have, I don't know, 500 grams that is not even for uh, five candles maybe. And I want my three candles to smell like Neroli, for example. You know, that's hard. Did you, did you, <laughs> am I, I don't know if I explain myself right. Because all the tutorial that I saw are telling you to put the essential oil directly into the jar, into the Pyrex jar. But I want to, you know, do one rose essential oil, the other one smelling like another thing. I don't know. I don't know. I just want to... I don't know. Yeah, let's wait. The process will take a little bit. Shall we fix the wicks? Shall we fix the wicks? Shall we fix... Now you can see it's all melted. It's almost around 70 degrees. While we wait the wax to cool down a little bit, we will put the whisks into the candles. I choose a wix like this because then I can choose my containers. If not, I have like a 15 inches um, wix and I would just use five, for example. So that's a waste of material. So I can just make the exact length I need. Now I will measure how much do I need? We want to have a little room. I can show you like this. I never did a tutorial, so I am really sorry. So I make it like out of the container for like one centimeter and a half. So I have a room to keep it on when I'm pouring the wax. And I also have a room to cut it out later. So what, what am I doing? Now I take one of these that I don't know the name and I will not learn it. And I will put it into the, this one. Now I take one sticker. They are both size. See, this one on both sides, but you need to take off the sticker from here. So I have it like this. And I will put my sticker just right in the center. And now the thing you need to do is to take off the other side. You want your wicks to be in the center. So I'm gonna zoom you in to show you how I do it. I use one of these, but you can use a pen to help you center the wicks. Here you have your container. Here you have your wicks. Here you have whatever you would like. I think you don't see anything. Yeah, you don't. You try to center it in a way like this. Then you press down. Finished. Now you can put this. Maybe I made it a little bit too short. You should keep it a little bit longer. I mean, also like this, it can work. If I would use one of these clothes, laundry clip 
That's better. It works really good. Nice. Better than this. Upcycling. So the first five candles are done. Uh, I already touched the one and it's not, <laughs> you know, I ruined it. Fuck. And now I'm melting more soy wax to do the other four with the scent of geranium. Geranium or pelargonium pravolins. It is hard to do this kind of tutorial. It is hard because I don't know what I'm doing. I need to explain it to you. I don't know. I'm a little bit nervous for, at the moment. I need to, to calm down and to, you know, I don't want to fuck them up because then I, ne I need to buy everything again. But I also want to bring you along. Those four ones are with the geranium smell and I put directly the essential oil inside and I put like 10 drops each one of them so what can we say about this I didn't put enough wax so now I'm remelting new ones to make them full and make this full again I understood that if you have a hole in there it's quite normal and you need just to pour some more melted wax to even it so yeah that's okay snack time should keep it real pepper salt a piece of bread with olive oil. That's that's what I'm going to eat now. I actually didn't eat dinner because I ate lunch really late. So now that it's 11 p.m., I'm getting a little bit hungry. Let's put some. Salt. So while I was eating my bread, I was thinking that maybe if you don't want to waste too much wax, actually it's not waste, but if you don't want your wax to stay into the Pyrex glass, you want it to transfer into the containers when it's still pretty hot, now it's around 55 degrees and that's a little bit too much but I feel like if I wait for like 40 degrees here when I need to transfer everything in there it's already stuck it's already cold into the Pyrex glass so I'm doing whatever the fuck I want <laughs> and then we will see how it turns out now we are going to use rose essential oil. <laughs> oh no.
the same time I look so dumb because I'm taking care of my piercings and I can also do some more stickers you know so that's really too many things in one but I need to be productive <laughs> I'm joking I'm just desperate desperate that's what I am so now I can clean, I can clean my face and I can go to sleep. I'll maybe see you tomorrow. No, 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 no. It's not finished yet. It's not finished yet. See you tomorrow. 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 Hi. And good morning, everybody. I felt the urge to organize my... Do you ever wonder how nice it would be to have some peace around you? Like some privacy, some, some moments, just alone. Ever thought about that? <laughs> she of course didn't. This morning I felt the urge to organize my documents because I'm always fucking mess. And I saw my brother last time when we were video calling each other. And he had this all together, all organized, very nice, very nice. I went, I went shopping, I went grocery shopping. Meal of the day is gonna be rice with some veggie. So I bought one of these, where I'm going to put <laughs> those with holes inside, so I can organize my documents. Then. <laughs> then I bought some stickers. Hey, look, around here, you you have all the sizes that they sell. They but they were selling just the big ones. So yeah, that's a that's a pity because either the very small one or the big big one. I need the middle, but it's okay. I also bought this to make holes into papers. And I think that is gonna be useful when I will do candles, um, stickers and stuff. I also bought a felt tip thing. So I'm going to write the big title. Oh, maybe I can cut them. That's what I can do, yeah, yeah. We have a friend over, so full table of food. Hi everybody, different day, same things to do, and it's candles. So same setup, I'm boiling some water to be able to uh, melt the wax. So we are doing soy wax, candle. I need to finish my last six candles and I divided the present to the people that I will see before or after. So I am organized. I don't want to, you know, rush on doing candles for people that I'm going to see really late in the Christmas time. So I am setting them up to the people and I will see so soon and I want to give them the present, like for example my parents, that I will just see them on Christmas time and then I'll be back in Rome. So I'm getting ready those. So last six to go and then I need to top the one I did last time. So I think it's it's pretty common. Let me find one that it's really obvious. So, so it's really normal when you're doing candles to have like the hole in them. I don't know if you can see. Uh, it's really normal to have this kind of like air bubble thing. So, and that's why you need to cover one more layer to the top to you know, fix it and stop it. The only thing is that the last layer 
will not really smell. Maybe I can just put two, three drops. And so, and so yeah, that's, that's what we will keep doing into this video. And yeah, I just want to tell you that maybe the next video will be in Italian. So I will not talk in English. Uh, it's just to try. I don't know if it's gonna work, if I'm going to like it or whatever. I just make like a... I asked to my followers, if you can call that, uh, how would they prefer like me talking in English or me talking Italian. Most of them told me Italian. Some of them just gave me really interesting answers about it depends on, you know, like, like what's your target? So that's also a good, good point. I don't know what's my target. I think at the moment will be Italian people. So that's why it makes sense to talk my own language. I don't know. Maybe in the future will be English. I, I will just try, you know. Last time you saw some clips maybe where I was doing the sticker that I want to put on my candle. So I just want to put like a paper thing with something written. I came out with a nice idea, but I don't know how to end it. So I want to like say that it will be Italian because like all of my friends are Italian here. So it would be in Italian, but it's like, this is not mayonnaise or this is not cheese or something because I will close them with the top. So on the side, it would look like cream cheese, like anything, you know? And uh, so I want to just give a different idea um on the on the label and yeah i just want i just want to have fun you know but i don't know if it will work we will see on yeah on one hand it looks really nice what i came up with i don't know how to finish you know um anyway my skin looks better i use niacinamide and multipeptide by the ordinary so that looks good Last time my skin was really, really bad. If you're uh, seeing me a little bit off, it's because I'm tired, that's it. Okay, so I have my candles ready it's kind of easy the process but you need to wait a lot so that's also going to take you a little bit more time but it's fun and it's a good present and it's a good activity to do with some people so i made it really easy but you can also mix it with spices you can mix it with flowers you can mix it with really a lot of things so I just kept it simple because I had so many little presents to make. So I wanted to don't stress myself out. I'll see you when I finish all and when I will pack them. So I can show you how it looks like at the end. And um, uh, I'll see you some days. <laughs> Hello everybody, um, okay, I think we are at the end of this video, I really don't know how it went um, or how it looks like, really it's been a tough week and uh, so yeah, I, I, couldn't, I couldn't do all in one, so I had to split it into multiple days, it took me a little bit um, 
to to do all these little candles they came out really nice so I have all the candles that looks like this they have this white top that you can open you can smell it and they look like you know this so basically I am um, I have a whole box full of candles that I need to bring with me on uh, Wednesday when I go to my parents' house for Christmas and I have it already here. Maybe I can show you from here. So I have this big box. I don't know how heavy it's gonna be in my suitcase, but <laughs> we'll see, we'll see. So they are all here. I just put a little tape, clear tape, um, because I don't want to pack them up. Now, now I'm going to show you how they don't want them to look. So I cannot do that now because in the travel they're going to be uh, ruined, they're going to be all packed with other things. So I have all the, the prints and stuff, all the labels here all the names and also the name of the candle here so i have them all ready probably the last clip you saw was me writing the labels so i print out the front and on the back i wrote down to who was the present and also the smell so i did that i am not really happy with the result but I need I I I don't have time to change it. So now I accept that it looks like this. I don't care too much. I think it's good just even that I did this. So and I put a string on it because I want the result look like this. So you have the two wooden stick. I don't know what's the name in English. Two wooden stick, the label, and the candle, like this. So I have the matches. I thought it was a brilliant and nice idea to have them. They look beautiful, they look so old school, and I love it. So that's why I'm going to wrap two of them, and then I'm going to wrap it all around the candle. And there you go, you have the candle. Um, I think it's also nice to have a top that you can close. Looks more unique. I don't know. And also, I love that it looks handmade. I love that it looks recycled, even if actually it is not, because I want them to be small, not too big, all the same. I didn't want to have one huge because Maybe it's a, uh, I mean, it's good to have it for yourself. So if you want to do it, just do with the thing that you have. But if you want to make, you know, gifts and stuff, I think it's beautiful to just keep them the little candle that looks all the same. And so, yeah, it's, it's over. Um, I realized that it's not too easy. It's easy, but not, not too much. I kept them simple, I didn't put flowers, I didn't put spices or colors, I, I just want them to look simple, I just want them to be a small gift that I can do. And um, I, th I find, I think two things to be kind of difficult. So you have to wait a lot, expect to wait a lot, because you need to wait that it's melting, the wax is melting, you need to wait to put essential oils, you need to wait everything. You know, the top was like a hard part to get it nice and even. I don't know how can I do it, but maybe you can tell me if you already did them. So I think we're done. I think I said everything. I hope you like it and I hope you can do it yourself too and see how they can turn out and try maybe to use dried flowers. Um, I don't know, other things that make them more unique. I didn't go with the fun label style because I felt it wasn't right, you know. They weren't perfect, they weren't... I just go with 
wax candle handmade Aurora 2022 that's it but yeah you know just let me know in the comments down below how what do you think if you did it if you're going to do it because of this video it was nice to be with you I don't know how to do the outro but anyway Bye, I hope you have fun. <laughs> I'm going to see you in the next video. It's the 10th time, so it's not natural. And yeah, whatever. I'm going to light myself up, you know. Goodbye.